Hi, my name is Karthik and I am from ExitAutomation.com and welcome to my course Understanding Docker and Using It with Selenium. So in this course, you will learn a lot by not only just running a simple Selenium test inside a container, but you will see that you will actually learn a lot about ephemeral containers which are going to be invoked every time while the test executes. And you can see that every time the test executes, it is going to be running as a container along with the application which are being deployed. So that's the whole goal of this course. Let's see our ultimate goal as a demo. So the first thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to run this particular application. But instead of running the application just using Visual Studio or any other IDE, we are going to be running directly the Docker Compose app. And once we do that, you will see that it is going to do a lot of things for us. Basically, it is going to spin up the application for us. You can see that it is creating the Docker network for us. It is going to start a SQL Server instance. And then it is also running the test against the Selenium grid itself. So you can access the Selenium grid as well in the meantime. So if you go to the local host 4444, you will see that the test is actually running against this particular grid. And you'll also see that this is the application that we are trying to automate. And this is the API server, which is running against that particular application. And this is the thing that we are automating. And you can see that currently it says session one while it is running the test because it is actually running the test on this particular session. So if I go to this particular session, you will see that the Selenium is running in a video capable enabled mode. And once the first test completes, and then if there is a second test gonna start, then you will see that the test is gonna be again queued up and there is gonna be a new session spawns and the test will start running against it. So this whole things are actually happening behind the scene for us within this particular dockerized container. And every time you will see that there is going to be a data change because the test is actually running on the actual application. And if you really wanted to see how this Selenium grid is actually behaving behind the scene, we can also see the video output of the test being running on the dockerized applications and dockerized container. So you can see that every time the test runs, it is going to create an ephemeral containers for us, which is running behind the scene. And once the test execution completes, it is going to stop the test execution and the whole test stops. So now we can quit this particular application because we don't really require this application anymore. And we can see what is this particular application has produced us as an output, as an video format. So we can go to this particular application and we can go to its assets and you can see that there are some test execution happened here and there are the video assets as well. So we can go to any one of the folder and we can see what test execution has happened. And you can see that it is gonna show us the test execution completely coming up over here. And I think the test one has got failed because we have a retry mechanism of the test over there. And if I show you another video, you will see that the test execution has been completed, which is great. And there is another asset on the another folder. And you will see that the test execution has been completed here as well. So all the tests are currently executing behind the scene in parallel on the Dockerized Selenium grid. And all these things are happening for us using the Dockerized Selenium grid. And as you can see here, we have the whole Docker Compose file which is going to be the one which we'll be ending up writing. So let's see all these things in action in this particular course and understand how these things works.